Welcome back into NFL Daily. We are live once again here on a Tuesday. Tom Downey, producer Chris D.Y. behind the scenes, got that one right. Forgot to put the last name on there. This time around, we'll break down the latest with the Brandon Euk saga. It continues in kind of a funny fashion if you're following one person, at least from that perspective. We will also talk to Hassan Rett who has probably had a more crazy couple of months than even Brandon Uk has, because he demanded a trade from Philadelphia, got traded, never showed up to the Jets, and now wants to be traded again. So, will the Jets pull off? Something that doesn't happen very often, I think less than five times in history, a trade for a player, and then trade him away before he ever even puts on the jersey, never showed up for any practice or anything? Will the Jets end up trading away Hassan Rek? Why for yes and for no? This is also the poll question for today's video. 55% are voting yes on a Hassan Rek trade. Panthers fans, you could definitely see a scenario at the deadline where Rek finally shows up, plays, and he's not the greatest. The Jets are not great at the deadline, and they sell now. I will say this. If they're bad at the deadline and sellers, I think that regime might be getting fired, which maybe works against them, because there's the sunken cost fallacy of trading a future third-round pick for a guy and then not getting anything out of him. That's bad. That's not great. Not even like on the roster as a backup, just not on the team at all. Shelly Porter and Clayton say no. Joey Jeff says yes. Joe Luca wants him to go to the Giants though he wouldn't have to move if he moved in the first place, I guess. Mark says, I need to be fired. But why, Mark? Anyway, will the Jets trade Hassan Rett? Why for yes and for no? DC Times Viper says yes. Rashard Lee says no. My gut says no. But it's been such an unusual situation that I wonder if this is maybe an example of the player not handling this one quite. 